up YouTube, it's Mark, um, and I just put out my Sam Calder inspired My Year edit yesterday. I'm super happy with how it turned out. If you haven't seen it yet, the link is in the description. Um, please give that a like and check that out. So today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to edit like Sam Calder in Final Cut Pro 10. This is my program of choice. I've done a little bit of work in Premiere Pro and After Effects, and I just find it a little bit too complicated for me. Um, and it takes a little bit longer. Um, I'm still in school right now. I don't have a lot of time to edit So, de so definitely quicker um, To get stuff done in so a lot of the effects that Sam does are all done in After Effects and Premiere Pro um, But we can do sort of a modified version that are just as good um, In Final Cut Pro so they're not going to be as good But they are all the effects that I used in my year edit and I'm super happy with how it turned out So let's get into it so the first one we're going to do is a zoom transition. Um, we'll do a luma fade one after, but first off, a zoom transition. Um, so the clip we're going to be working on is this drone clip of flying up um, from laying the trampoline. Um, so pretty good clip to do this zoom transition on because it already has that movement from it. Um, so the two options for the free and the paid version, um, M transition zoom by motioneffects.com. This costs 60 US dollars, and for me, that's just too much. Uh, I'm on a student budget, um, that's in US dollars as well. Um, so that's definitely a little bit expensive for me. They are super cool, um, but it's just not for me at this moment. The free one we're going to use is um, done by Chungda. Um, it's a guy from the Netherlands, and he's doing a lot of really good tutorials and effects for um, Premiere Pro, and he's done a little bit for Final Cut. Um, so big shout out to him for supplying me with these presets. So we're going to jump back into Final Cut um, and we're going to do our first cut where we want the transition to start. One thing to keep in mind is if you have any sort of objects around the edges, um, they're going to get um, mirrored when the clip, when we apply the effect of the clip. So for this, I don't want to put the trampoline edges too close because then we're going to get a whole bunch of rings going around it. So I'm going to pull it out a little bit. And we're going to do our first cut here. So Command B for that. And then we're going to pull this into where we want the clip to come in. So if we do a nice big transition like this, it'll get a really nice jump to it. Um, it doesn't work as well if you do um, clips that don't have a lot of difference in between them, just the way the effect works. So once you download and install this, um, this isn't a drag and drop transition its effects that need to be applied. Um, so we go into effects, we're in the Chungda zoom transitions. Bring this up so we can see it. So he only does the zoom in and zoom out. So this is um, pretty much good for 90% of what you want to do. It is sort of cool if you can do the rotating ones or sort of the more complicated panning zooms. Um, but for me, the zoom ones are pretty cool. Um, and they work extremely well. Um, so depending on the length of transition is you can do cuts on either side um, of a certain number of frames. So a standard for me I think is just about good is 10 frames. It's not too short um, and it's not too long where the transition is really drawn out. Um, if it's too short then it sort of happens a little bit too quickly and you don't really get the full effect of it. So we're gonna do uh, 10 frames. So if you start in the cut and do shift to the right that's going to jump 10 frames to the right. So we'll do a cut there, Command B again. And if we jump 10 frames back to the left, so Shift arrow to the left, arrow to the left, and cut that as well. So now we have these cuts like this, and we're going to drag and drop the effects one on the front or the first clip and one on the second clip. So for this example, we're going to do a zoom out. Zoom in works the same way, just the opposite. Um, so for the first clip, that's a clip that's going to be ending and going out. So that's going to be the zoom out out clip, as you can see there. And then for the second clip, we're going to do the zoom out in. Drag those on there, and let's check this out. So that looks really good, pretty smooth, um, and I'm definitely happy with that. So let's look at it um, frame by frame. 
as you can see, it's sort of duplicating the edges around it. Um, you can see this sort of diamond happening in the top right corner. Um, but if you were to have sort of shapes too close, like a trampoline was too close to the edges, then you get rings coming out from the top and bottom. Um, uh, also be um, worrisome of poles or straight lines because those get mirrored and they sort of look funky too. So zoom out and then the next clip comes in and then this zooms in and then pulls out really quickly. So you can see how this clip goes in super tight and then comes out. So if the jump wasn't as big, um, you'd sort of get an awkward zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, zoom in. Um, and you just get sort of these flash frames of transition. So let's see this one more time. And there we go, super good. So to enhance this effect, we're gonna be adding a whoosh sound. This is something that a lot of people have been wondering where to get it. And there's actually a really good one built right into Final Cut as well. So if we open up the sound effects tab, it's gonna be the second button over here, sound effects, look up whoosh. And we have, we have 19 different ones. So the key to this is to find a short one um, my favorites are 1, 2, um, I think it was 12 or 13. So you can play with it, find out which ones work for you. Let's just throw in number 2, for example. So we'll start this at the beginning of the transition, or a little bit to the left. If you hit the comma key, that just nudges it frame by frame over. Um, so as the audio comes in, we want the effect to start. Uh, so let's check this out with the sound effect. So hopefully you guys could hear that. That seems pretty cool. Um, it might be a little bit loud, so you can bring down the volume a little bit. And once you have like some background music going um, on top of that, the whoosh isn't as dramatic, um, or you can bring down the sound a little bit. But that is how you do the transition. So the second transition we're going to work on is the Luma Fade transition. So this one we, you can either use the regular cross dissolve built into Final Cut, which is completely free, works really well, and I personally like the look of it. Um, or the second one is supplied by Chengda again, um, but for this one it costs one euro. But we're going to go through them both um, and see how they differ. So for the first clip here, transition, um, we're going to do a shot of eye transitioning into drone clip like this. There's lots of whites and lots of blacks, um, so this really helps make the transition a little bit smoother. So we're going to drag and drop the cross dissolve and drop that on like so. So I know what you're saying, it's just a cross dissolve, that's not going to look good, and the answer is that's right. That's a very simple sort of standard transition. So the key to this though is instead of the look as video, change it to highlights and shadows. This is, and this is gonna bring in the highlight. If we do highlights, it's gonna bring in the highlights of the second clip before and blend those in, then the shadows, and then um, same goes for the shadows. So for this one, I'm gonna do the highlights. I'm gonna add an ease of 75 on both the in and out and um, bring this up a little bit too. Um, this creates a little bit more of a dramatic, so if we put that at 100, we're gonna get a really cool sort of dramatic transition. So let's check this out. So there's lots of contrast. I think that looks really cool and it's super smooth. As you can see, if we go frame by frame, all the edges are nice and faded in, and it's like a really cool blending of it. We can make it shorter. Um, that's definitely a little bit long. So if we shorten this, um, we'll get something a little bit quicker, um, something a little bit more like Sam. So there we go. The ease really helps um, bring it in slowly, and then it speeds up, and then goes out slowly again. Um, so that's really cool. We'll do the same thing with the shadows, just by changing it here. Let that render out, and we will compare the two. So that's a little bit different. We'll go frame by frame on that as well. 
um, shadows sort of fall out and then the clip comes in um, very cool very easy and it's built right into Final Cut so the next one is we're going to use Chungda for the his Luma fade um, just a reminder this does cost one euro but that's not that much you do need a PayPal account but I think it's worth it to have that variety for the trans transition so this is just a drag and drop again we will put this on we will shorten it um, I'm going to put this at 20 and this one he has four different ones built into the transition we have dark to light, light to dark, B light to dark, and B dark to light. So we're going to, I'm going to show you all four of them, um, and we will go through it. So let this render. Done. So as you can see, it really has sort of a graphic characteristic to it. Um, all the edges aren't smooth and blurred like the one built into Final Cut. Um, you get a lot of sort of pixelated dots and that can be cool depending on what clip. Um, it's not my favorite look um, with all the colors that are going on here. Um, but it's still a really cool effect. So that is the dark to light. Now we're going to do light to dark. Check this out. So just like the other one, the darks fade away um, and reveal the clip, second clip. And voila. So now let's check out the other two, B light to dark. So this one sort of has like a snap in effect. Um, that is sort of cool. I like that one. And then now we're going to do B dark to light as well. So those are all the zoom transition and the Luma fade transition for Final Cut Pro. Hopefully this was super helpful for you guys. If it was, please comment, like, and subscribe. I can't wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't wait.